Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. Yeah, Don's Lawns is so fast. In today's video, we are going to address my take-all root rot, and I'm going to try to sprig some St. Augustine. Most people say it cannot be done. Bermuda is typically used for sprigging. If you're going to sprig, you're usually going to sprig with Bermuda. It's where you're cutting out some stolons, putting it into the you know onto the ground kind of covering it with some peat moss or some dirt and you know getting it into that seed to soil contact basically with the stolons and it grows in grows new roots and it just thrives it can survive you may have seen some other guys on youtube sprig bermuda well i am going to do the same thing with saint augustine because during this project right here on my bermuda lawn project where i created this bermuda play area for us to have fun on I did not use any herbicide to get rid of the St. Augustine. I simply mowed it out and then dethatched it and dethatched it and dethatched it. And because of that, there was some St. Augustine that actually survived throughout the process. So that leads me to think that because there were pieces of stolen left in the ground, and now I have little spots here and there of, you know, three little pieces of St. Augustine or two little pieces of St. Augustine grass blades sticking up here and there after the process, I think that we can sprig some St. Augustine. Now sprigging St. Augustine is not going to be done the same traditional way that sprigging Bermuda has been done. I'm going to basically go and find some of my fresh stolons that are just loose growing out, my stragglers. I'm going to cut them off and then I'm going to kind of sow them into the ground, put some peat moss over them, and then we'll water and fertilize and watch and see. So let's get to it. I think I've got a good plan and all that's left to do is do it. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding some stolons that are just loose, not tacked down yet. They have plenty of leaf blade. Like some of these already have some guys who split off and are creating new directions. And those are the ones that I'm gonna use to harvest and create my uh, sprigs. So here in this spot, you can tell that uh, some sections are starting to recover already. They're starting to get some new stolons reaching out into the bare areas. There's still some dead stuff that I'm pulling out every so often. Um, some of this is already starting to recover. Some of it was already too far gone, so it was too late. But adding that peat moss has really helped, in my opinion. So I'm going to continue with that plan. And as you can also tell, the Spurge has infiltrated.
so I've mixed up two ounces of RGS and about two ounces of Green Punch 1801 in my orthodolin spray, filled the rest up with water, and now I'm gonna start spraying. You can call me a mixologist if you want. I'll take it. Since I'm using so much liquid, I'm gonna have it set on the eight ounces and spray this out quicker. Make sure you're staying tuned so you can see some results following up right now. It has been seven days since we did the sprigging with the St. Augustine Stolons and first couple days I was kind of nervous, thought about just tearing it all out because all the leaves on the stolons started going brown and looking kind of ugly. But I kept at it, I just watered every day, kind of just hosed this section off to try to keep it moist and it's paying off there are stolons in here that are still green there are leaves that are greening up and even the area surrounding the empty spot is starting to come in and fill in as you can tell with all of these new stolons and runners that are starting to creep out into the area so hopefully these guys all survive they start forming some roots and then once they form their roots, they can start forming some more stolons, roots and shoots. And then this will fill in. It just takes some time. Much quicker way to do this would be if I just went and bought some sod and slapped some sod down, but there's no fun in that. We don't get to experiment if we just throw sod down. So let's stay tuned. Let's keep up with the channel. Keep an eye on this. There'll be some more stuff coming very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Tap subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DonsLawns1. And I'll see you in the next video. Best of luck in the lawn.